<laughs> Do I join the circus now? Hey guys, it's Kevin here. Today we're going to talk all about the SUN. Now, most people will think that you only have to wear sunblock when you're outdoors, but actually, you have to wear it also when you're indoors because sunlight does go through your windows every day. And for my case, my work table is directly facing the window, so technically, I'm getting burned every day at work. In this video, I'm going to be reviewing five different Korean sunscreens from cheap to expensive. Does pricing really affect the quality of sunscreen? Will a $10 sunscreen function the same as a $40 sunscreen? Let's find out. So the first item I'm going to review is the Apu Pure Block Daily Sun Cream. This product retails at $9.90 on Style Korean. It has SPF 45 and, and a PA Triple Plus. So this is the lowest price product. And I am thinking, okay, um, this is something that I can afford, most people can afford, but what does it feel like? So I've been using all the products for about a few times. This one contains a few interesting stuff, such as aloe vera, a bit of berries, and watermelon. Hence, it's going to be a really citrusy and also refreshing feel. And the smell is really refreshing guys. The orange zest does burst directly into your nose. So the feeling I get about this is the consistency is a little bit mild and it's not too thick. What I like about it instantly is there is no white cast. You can see my face has the same color, which is really good because I really do not like white cast products. Check it out. So it has a slight thickness to it, but not too overbearing. My face honestly does look a little bit more dewy and shiny. What I like about it is it does not actually feel too heavy or tacky and I I don't like white cast products because it just makes my face look like, like a clown. For the price, I'm actually really shocked because it's so good. Alright, this is a 4 hour check in of the Apu sunscreen. What do you guys think? It's slightly on the oily side but bearable and I kind of like it. My face looks natural and healthy, so approved. Alright, I'm going to move on to the second sunscreen. But before that, I'm going to remove my current Apu one. I'm going to show you this little cute sunscreen remover pad from Atopalm. Check out, it's a little boy with a dark costume. So cute. I just got this because I wanted to remove the sunscreen easily. Tiny pads and just wipe it out. There's not much fragrance to this, so it's really suitable for those with sensitive skin. I find that removing sunscreen with this pad shows how yellow and grimy my skin is. So. Sometimes my cleansers can't actually get it out, hence you need this kind of cleansing pad. Okay, you can't really see but it's like grimy and dark. Yeah, that's my sunblock right here. Alright, the next item is from a really famous brand, Cosrx. This is the Aloe Soothing Sunscreen. Now, most of us know this brand. I have personally used their snail cream, their moisturizers, their toners, but never the sunscreen. I've always seen it everywhere on the website. The retail price for this goes at $12.80. The main ingredient is aloe vera, meant for soothing and calming your skin for sun exposure, as well as having moisturizing ingredients to make your skin plump and fresh. Right off the bat, I'm going to tell you guys that I do not like this sunscreen at all because it is way too thick and heavy for me. Despite the reviews, they said that it was very non-sticky but I found it really sticky. The texture is almost like a moisturizer combined with SPF. So it's like a SPF moisturizer. The smell is somewhat pleasant, really reminds me of aloe vera gel and instantly guys, I can feel the heaviness. This is literally wearing a moisturizer on my face, not a sunscreen because there is so much residue on my fingers and it's oily too. Not much white cast, that's good. You can see just how much shine it gives to my skin. Makes me look healthy and also dewy. Man, I wore this for even like half an hour or one hour for the past few days, my skin was bursting with oil literally from the first hour. And I don't know why, is it because I wore a moisturizer underneath it? Or the sunscreen just does that to me naturally? I would recommend this if you have dry skin because you really need all that soothing and calming moisturization for your skin. If you have oily skin, no, 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 no. Do not get this. Price-wise for 1280, do I think it's worth it? 
yeah, I really recommend this if you have dry skin because the pricing and uh, what you get is quite economical and good. Alright, now we're entering the third sunscreen. This is none other than Innisfree Intensive Triple Care Sunscreen. Wow, I know this is a very famous brand. I think almost anyone who dabbles into Korean skincare would know this brand. I've never actually tried to have two different sunscreens. I've chosen this. It retails for about 20 US dollars. And I thought, wow, okay, let's see what it does. It has three main functions, which is to whiten the skin, to reduce fine lines, and the third one, of course, to protect the skin against sun damage. There's a fourth one, apparently, to protect the skin against blue light, which is what we need nowadays, since all our phones and devices emit blue light. Is this worth $20? I'm gonna show you right now what I think of it, especially the texture. When I apply it, I instantly saw, wow, the color of the product is peach. Is it gonna be a tinted BB cream? But apparently, when you spread it on your face, it actually whitens it and to my shock, it is a white cast. <laughs> I don't know guys, can you see this? Like, remember what I said about the clown? <laughs> When I first wore this, I was thinking to myself, oh my goodness, I did not expect this to be a white cast product because I just hate it. So let me just cover the other half so I don't look like a total fool. The smell is actually a bit on the flowery side. It's uh, not too overbearing, but it's definitely there compared to the previous products. Voila! <laughs> Do I join the circus now? I mean... I've always wondered why do products want to put intensive white cast on their materials because it just never looks good, especially when you have the dis discrepancy between your face and the neck. This is a bit too much, isn't it? You judge it for yourself. What do you guys think? For one, I guess it does make my skin look flawless, maybe, because it kind of covers all of the pores and just smooths everything out with that white perfection. Alright, this is an Innisfree sunscreen update. It's been a few hours, I have been sweating so much. The whiteness of the white cast has mellowed down now, so it's kind of blending in with my skin tone. It's a bit on the peachy light tones. You have to give this sunscreen a few hours for it to mellow down. In the first hour, you just look so pale and eventually it will sort of blend in. I like how after sweating so much, the sunscreen doesn't really come out that much. So for this, I would say $20. It's a little bit on the middle part. I'm also on the fence on this. If you are someone who wants that triple care, you can go for this and yeah, enjoy the whitening. For me, I think I would have to pass on this and let's see what the next sunscreen holds. Moving on to sunscreen number four. We are now entering the 30s. The next product is the AHC Natural Perfection Double Shield Sun Stick. This is the first time I'm using a sun stick as a sunscreen product and this retails for $34. Wow, I am like really shook when I saw the price tag on this thing because it's only 22 grams. That's so little. Can this justify $34? I looked it up. The main feature of this is having the phytoprotect complex that is meant to protect a delicate skin as well as being infused with five different clean waters to soothe and also moisturize your skin. The problem is when I tried to research what exactly these five clean waters were, I could not get any examples online. So it's a mystery on what's exactly inside this. I love the color by the way. It has a little lid for the actual stick. You can just remove it. There's a little spin wheelie thing here where you must rotate for the sun stick to reveal itself. Take a while, but look at that. It's a nice cool minty shade which i think is quite pleasant overall it looks like a toy don't you think like a block of waxy toy and the smell is very faint of lemongrass despite them saying it's unscented i definitely smell a bit of lemongrass in here i'll show you how you apply it right now literally i'm just gliding over this stick like my face is a giant lip this is a lipstick on my face and instantly it glides all over this is thanks to the angled tip which allows you to reach into the corners and crevices of your face. Literally, you can just reach almost any angle and that's the good thing about it. So just a few layers will do, maybe around here. And I'm done. 
it's really sheer. Okay, honest opinion, I felt that this was really oily, that this is more like a balm texture where it has maybe wax or some kind of oil inside it. So every time I glide on my skin, it's really, really waxy. Like that's what I would say. There's a layer of film wax, which I don't like. When I put my finger on it, I can literally see and feel the residue all over, probably because you need the wax for it to glide over your skin. I like how the scent is really mild, that's one of the best things about this. And I realized that it's not really hygienic because if you look closely, maybe even closer, you can see hair and dust stuck to it because if you apply it every day, there's gonna be dust stuck on this stick. And you're gonna put it all over your face every day. To me, that's a bit unhygienic and something I wouldn't want to do if you have acne prone skin. Most convenient way because you don't have to use your fingers to spread the white cast sunscreen over your face. Just swap, swap and you're done. There, this is what you'll get for $34. I don't know why people made sun sticks. Is it ever popular? I would say it is not worth $34 at all. Really such a big investment for something so small. Last but not least, we have the fifth and most expensive sunscreen for this video. This is the Medipil Active Silky Sun Cream that retails for a whopping $42. Wow, this is insane guys, $42 for a sunblock. It better make my face look like gold. What could possibly be inside this that would cost that much? Apparently, this product contains three types of silk forms in this. The first one being silk powder, the second being silk extract, and the third, hydrolyzed silk. So technically, you're getting really premium products in this that will make your face supposedly look like silk. At least the packaging looks expensive. So the consistency is a little bit on the thick, glossy side. It's much more shiny compared to Innisfree. As I apply it, the smell is really strong, very, very potent, flowery fragrance. It's kind of driving me insane actually. And look, white cast. However, I'm very pleased because this one is not as bad as the Innisfree one, which was so much more lighter. This one is slightly tamer on the white cast whitening effect. The texture is much heavier. It's really dense not as powdery as Innisfree. Voila, this is it guys. What do you think? I have $42 on my face. Really nice and smooth. The silk factor is not really that obvious because I do not know what silk feels like, but instantly it makes my face looks brighter, glowy, and natural, most importantly. So this is something that I can live with. Like the difference between my face and the neck is not that obvious. But is this worth $42? I think in my opinion, no. It's definitely not worth $42. Alright guys, that's the end of my 5 sunscreen from cheap to expensive review. I had lots of fun testing it. I didn't realize the disparity between the prices are so large. And fun fact, after trying all of these, my favorite is still the first one, which is the cheapest one up here. To me, this just hits the spot. No white cast, smells great. And also, it's not thick and heavy. I don't know why the rest, which were more expensive, had all these kind of unwanted characteristics. So this is really up to the person. Do let me know in the comments below, do you think that you would try it or how do they feel? I am interested to know. That's all for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!